Hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Mariana, and I'm a research officer at the uh, Water Policy Program at Overseas at the Overseas Development Institute, and I'm here today to thank you <laughs> to talk about a study that we've been uh, doing for the past uh, six months, which is around looking at uh, how private sector and WASH can come together in a more catalytic engagement. And now. And basically, the reason why we undertook this study uh, was mainly because with the new SDG agenda, there's a really big drive to get the private sector to interact in the delivery, implementation and, uh, of the SDG goals. And within the WASH space, there was a lot of fuzziness around what this really meant. So we um, were enlisted by the UNICEF and United Nations Foundation to really look into uh, unpacking what the meaning behind private sector engagement uh, means. So the study was to the purpose of the study was twofold. First of all, to provide a clearer language um, and framework uh, around which to articulate the diverse ways a private sector is already engaging with the wash sector, but also can come to engage in the future. And secondly, to identify actionable ways forward, sort of very specific uh, uh, catalytic forms of engagement. Uh, the way we did this, we ran several uh, semi-structured interviews by phone, 60 individuals representing over 41 organizations. We held a round table in London where we, uh, we tested uh, the initial findings and then we supplemented it with review of quite uh, a lot of documentary material. So in terms of today, I mean, this is the study is going to be published in around three weeks' time. And what I'm presenting here is just a really quick snapshot of all of it. There's a lot of information, so bear with me. And I know it's quite late in the afternoon. I'll try to be as engaging as possible and brief. <laughs> so we identify that there are different levels where the private sector and the WASH sector are already engaging and can engage in the future. Uh, so this, the presentation will follow these three levels. In level number one, we found private sector in WASH, and that means it's around building viable business models uh, to provide and sustain WASH services. So, so we're talking about businesses already working in the WASH space, delivering services or products. Then we talk about private sector for WASH, and here we talk about how to lever leverage the private sector contribution to the WASH enabling environment, so more sort of global policy level. And then, sorry, private sector and WASH, where we talk about a potential mutually beneficial mechanism of engagement, such as a platform and so on. Um, so the way we uh, started looking at private sector in WASH, we um, sort of took this mapping exercise. And we uh, divided the WASH sector into its three subcomponents, so water, sanitation, and hygiene. And then we created this grid. And on the top, we thought about the links in the value chain of each of these uh, subsectors. So in terms of storage, uh, um, um, manufacturing, et cetera. But for each of the sub um, sectors, we had to go through and we had to think about this value chain. Um, and then we thought about the scale of the business. We looked into businesses already uh, working in the wash space from sole traders, uh, small scale, right to category four. Category four, whereby we're looking at multinationals. And then we also characterized each of these single businesses uh, in terms of their prof profit orientation to really map out whereabouts in the link in the value chain you're more likely to find for, full for profit companies or uh, social enterprises. So this is just really a bit of the theory and thinking behind it. Um, and I think the reason why we did this was really to provide the reader with an understanding of where the business where businesses are already operating within the wash sector. So for example, I mean, yeah, you can't really read much of it, but basically this is uh, our mapping of private sector in sanitation. So you have the supply chain, demand creation, manufacturing, and so on. And so sort of then we populated it with different businesses. And basically what this is meant to show us is where are the gaps and where are the opportunities for further engagement from the private sector. Um, and in terms of, for example, private sector in sanitation, what we found is that there are a lot of uh, sole traders and medium-sized enterprises operating in spaces where multinationals might not be. 
And so it's all about linking the, these two different scales in order to scale up businesses. Yep. So then we did the same for private sector uh, in water. And again, it's all about the linkages and, and working with these small scalar uh, businesses operating in harder to reach areas where, for example, bigger um, companies and water utilities might not have the knowledge to, to reach to. And then the same uh, for private sector uh, in hygiene. And here it was really uh, what the research sort of uncovered was that there is really strong scope for collaboration between larger companies and smaller businesses working closer to the uh, base of the pyramid consumers in order to sort of market products around uh, hygiene. So this was one of the first exercises that we did, sort of map really the uh, level of intervention and engagement within these two sectors. Um, and then we also focused on private sector for wash. And on private sector for wash, we weren't looking specifically at companies that were developing products or were delivering services in the wash sector. We were thinking about how to further engage new businesses and diff different businesses on this one big cause around uh, delivering SDG 6. And so private sector for wash, it's about presenting a panoply of options where different companies can come uh, together with the wash sector. So you have finance options, you have technology, you have capacity building, trade, uh, policy institutional coherence, multi-stakeholder partnerships, uh, data monitoring and accountability. And within the report, we have a subsection for each one of these sections with lots of examples. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I know I'm not gonna have much time. Um, but basically, just to give you a very sort of a flavor of it, <laughs> In finance, you might have the private sector sort of coming in as a private philanthropic investment, repayable private finance, for wash infrastructure, microfinance. And I think a lot of the examples of technology that we had here today, some of them, there was already some sign of sort of uh, private investment in them. Uh, you know, you can get businesses also uh, working together with the wash sector in terms of technology, development of hardware, uh, but also integrated hardware and software innovation. The clean team example is always a very good one. And the uh, hardware donations, where you have, for example, American Standard uh, has developed a very specific uh, sanitation technology component, which is donated to uh, several countries in the world. Um, you have, <clears throat> in terms of uh, capacity building, institutional partnerships between uh, uh, companies in the south with, uh, for example, small utilities in, in, in the, sorry, companies in the north with small utilities in the uh, south, but also direct support to entrepreneurs. And for example, on this one, you have the Toilet Port Coalition, which is a platform of business experts that works really closely with small scale entrepreneurs in the sanitation space in developing countries. Uh, and then you have trade and how you can do trade. This is really where you can bring most of the companies that usually don't work on the wash space into the wash arena. And this is if you sort of think of integrated, uh, integrating wash in the workplace and the supply chain by linking it with other programs such as health, uh, nutrition, uh, um, then you can really also uh, make sure that you're advancing uh, universal access to water. Uh, you also have po policy institutional coherence where businesses advocate and there's a policy dialogue. And at that level, much has been done within the water resources management side, but nothing, ha not much has been done on the, on the water supply and sanitation sector. And finally, you know, you can get businesses involved in multi-stakeholder partnerships and also engagement on data monitoring and accountability. There's been a lot of discussion around how you, you monitor, how you capture the benefits. Um, one of the ways is, for example, as Unilever is currently doing through its sustainable living plan, whereby they have, they have to social, they have to target, I'm uh, sorry, to monitor really well all their, their targets. And that's by incorporating this notion into their own business um, operations. So, <clears throat> So we looked at how businesses are already operating directly by providing services, by providing products, but we also looked at options where businesses can come and uh, further advance the SDG 6. The next stage is really to think about how you make all this come together. And this is where we thought about the private sector and WASH, whereby you are um, 
taking specific measures and putting people together in one room, all talking to each other through partnerships and platforms. And basically, uh, at the moment, there's only really one um, entity which does that, which is Sanitation and Water for All, which is a global partnership. And up until July, uh, private sector organizations couldn't really uh, say much. And basically, SWA, what it does, it brings together governments, donor agencies, civil society organizations, and they all talk about how to improve national uh, WASH strategy programs. So conversations are ongoing as to how to integrate the private sector into this kind of no higher level negotiations. And the idea is that by having the private sector organizations at this level, uh, you are able to scale up much uh, uh, of the ideas that you might have on the ground, but you might not have uh, capacity to. Um, however, any sort of engagement, um, I don't <laughs> any sort of engagement the way, um, I mean, there's lots of, lots of recommendations in the report, and this is just a set of recommendations for this specific uh, cut creep. Um, but basically what we think is that any sort of engagement between the private sector and the business sector and the, and the wash sector uh, has to be underlined by a couple of prin principles. Uh, there has to be an alignment of mission, you know, negotiations, dialogue, you have to agree on a basic minimum in terms of the expectations on both sides. Businesses are profit orientated. Wash sector has a slightly different perspective on things. So it's how do you match them together and you sort of capitalize on what both ends can offer. But you also have to validate differences. And now my differences might exist in terms of attitudes to risk, in terms of return. For example, lots of the interviewees we spoke to, they said everything takes so much it takes so long to happen in the wash sector, why would we want to be involved with you? Um, so it's really understanding the differences of operations in, in both uh, spectrums. Um, linking up between scales, this is uh, something we're particularly strongly uh, advocating for, which is in terms of if and how engagement mechanisms can leverage private sector contribution, there needs to be, uh, you need to ensure representation for multiple levels. And that means from small scale enterprises at the local level right up to multinationals. Um, any sort of negotiation, conversation, and dialogue should also be purpose and not process led. Uh, and this is really all about clarifying from the beginning <laughs> what is the ask and what is the business case. So, what is the ask? So, what is the wash sector asking from businesses? But also, what is the business case for businesses? to interact and, and um, act and, and operate in the WASH space. And uh, finally, uh, we also felt that it was really important to highlight that SDG 6 is extremely ambitious, so any sort of engagement has to have that in mind, that there's a lot of, um, for example, now we have a greater focus on women, girls in vulnerable situations, in sanitation, and also there's a, a bigger emphasis on affordability. So these are all considerations that you should have when engaging and coming together. And that's it. I look forward to your questions. Thank you.